Hi everyone. Today I am doing a flip through of a journal I'm calling Lavender and Lace. It is a journal that I actually made for a silent auction. This was, there's a young lady at our school who's doing a silent auction fundraiser. I did offer to make her a book, so this is what I decided to make. I've done several books that were hardcover. For this time, I wanted to just do something that was beautiful, that was soft, that would be something that maybe even a little girl would love or a grown woman. Personally, this is just gorgeous and I love this whole thing. Of course I do, I made it. <laughs> anyway, what I used, I used a paper pad from Prima that is called Lavender. This has all kinds of goodies in it, beautiful papers. What I love is this last paper actually has ephemera on it. It's, uh, let's see if we can find it. Oh, that's not it. Oh, there it is. So the last page actually has ephemera on it. And I just cut all of this ephemera out and used that also in here. You'll see that in a little bit. So let's start with the cover. Uh, this may look familiar. This is basically the same thing I did with my last journal that I made actually for myself and I copied that kind of idea again. It's a little bit different because every time we do something it's a little bit different. I have two kinds of lace that I've used throughout this whole journal. This is seam binding. I have a little fake amethyst stone hanging there. I put some flowers here and added some more decorative trim up here. Um, and it's got some cheesecloth behind there and that's some, uh, what is it called? Muslin. So I have muslin back here. Then um, it's closed with seam binding again. And then on the back, I've actually used some more of the pieces from the paper pack. This is, if I, I can't remember if I've already said this, this is actually an envelope that I used. I love these because they're nice and soft and squishy. The back has the lace to cover where I sewed in the signature. It is a single signature. And I added this really chunky charm. And I made it so that this can come off all the way and you can just use the journal without it if you want to use this for something else. This has some ribbon on it. This has lots and lots of beads. I have a key. I don't know if you can see that key. I have um, a door. This is a Tim Holtz one. I have jingle bells. I have all kinds of beads. So this is just one of those really big, it's not really big, this is just a chunky charm. I know that uh, Clemmy will make them and they're massive. I didn't want to go too much overboard, but I wanted to have something beautiful and dangly to go with this. And let's go inside. One of the things that I did again, because I loved it, was I created uh, a, an, a tall coin envelope. And I did this for my personal one where I just stuck all the ephemera in there so that someone could go back and use it. This is just using a one inch punch. I cut out one of the roses to seal it with. There is, this is all from this paper pack. This is what I have left over. I can tell there's one more piece in there. This is what I have left over from cutting out all that ephemera. So there is tons in here. I love all of these. Someone could take these, they could glue these in, they could make these into tuck spots, they could do some collaging with these. Um, this could be used as a memory book for a wedding where you, a lot of people to use those instant cameras now and you could put your instant camera pictures in you could set these out by the table and let people do that and use this even as a an autograph book or a guest book for a wedding um, or again this could be just used by someone as a regular journal this could be used as a bullet journal. This could be used as a planner. You've even got things like weekend in here. So many different ways this could be used. That was my main goal, was to really have a lot of different ways that this could be used. So there's just a pocket in the front. 
And then the signature is covered with the, another piece of paper from the paper pack. This is mostly going to be coffee dyed paper. I wanted to keep it plain and simple. So you'll notice that the pages are very blank. I do have a couple of extra things in here, but not a lot. So this is just a paper bag that I coffee dyed with polka dots. This is avocado dyed. It's a lovely shade of peachy pink, and I like that. There's some polka dot paper, more avocado dyed. You'll notice there are two different kinds of laces that I used. Of course, I had to include my tissue paper, which I love that sound. Had to at least have one page of that. But you'll see there's two different kinds of lace that I've used throughout. Um, I have a couple of longer pages that have foldovers. Person could use those as a tuck spot or write on them. There's a whole lot of different things. We come to the center and I just simply added a rose. This is again from the paper pack. And this is a one and a half inch hole punch or circle punch. I love that bigger size. Uh, more copy dyed paper, more avocado dyed paper, the other half of that large piece of paper that has a fold. Again, avocado. This is actually copy dyed, but it's really, really a light color. And you can see there's just a little bit of coffee around the edges of some of these pages. The tissue paper, more copy dyed, more avocado dyed, polka dot paper. A little bit of lace, uh, the other part of that bag, and a few more pages of the coffee dyed paper. And this is really light coffee dyed paper, so hopefully it doesn't scare anyone off. Then that's the back side of that. And then because this is an envelope, I like to leave the envelope open. I left a spot here where you could open it and you could tuck things in here. So again, as a diary, as a keepsake journal, all kinds of things, there is a ton of different uses. And so when I do things for doing something for a silent auction, I wanted to give people a lot of different options that they could use. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I hope I've inspired you to try something new.